Alright, here's how you can make fading tunnels. First, you want to open Parallax Fading Tunnel Set, which you can find the link to in the description of this video. And when you open it, you want to go to the straight fade piece and you have to rotate it a couple of times until it's black like that. And basically when it's black like this, you can pretty much fill in your tunnel. And don't worry about it not being high enough or not being wide enough for the shape of your tunnel. You can basically place as many as you need just to get that good fade in there. And um, make sure that if you do this, if you're doing it with a cave or with a building, it doesn't really matter. But make sure that your opening is large enough to actually fit the tunnels in since they are a full tile placement object. And one thing which I like to do is, you can see that there's this middle section and it looks a bit glitchy from this side if you go like that. So then I want to get the straight black piece and fill in that middle section in the same way as I did with the fade. There we go, so that's all black now, and on this side we can just pretty much get this fade in and then we're good to go. Now I just need to fill this in a bit on the side, don't worry too much about it sticking out, just a tiny bit on the rocks, it doesn't really matter and doesn't really end up looking terrible. As long as you can see the fading of the colour on the walls or rocks that you have on the side, it works perfectly, and that's basically how it's done. And for diagonal tunnels and straight tunnels, this works in exactly the same way. Make sure you have the straight fades on both ends in the right direction and then you're good to go. And that's how easy it is to make fading tunnels. Thank you for watching and